Hey, welcome to Arizona Living with Rob Scribner. Let's get started. Before we get started, please take the time to subscribe, then click on the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Hello everyone, and welcome to Arizona Living with Rob. And today I'm gonna to talk about pools. Now, a lot of people that I talk to that don't live in Arizona, the first thing they go, oh, you must be rich, you have a pool. And I have to tell you that down here, every other house has got a pool. It's not that big a deal. Um, especially if you buy a house that's already been built and the pool's already in it, uh, you can still get your house very reasonable. We have a 1,700 square foot house, a relatively roomy yard, and uh, it comes with a little pool. Now, you can typically get two kinds of pools. One is kind of a wading pool like ours, which goes from three feet to five feet to three feet. So you can swim in it, the kids have a ball in it, but you can't dive. And then my daughter, they've got a diving pool. And uh, they're, oh, I don't know, I think they're 12, 13 feet, 14 feet at one end with a diving board. And then it up, goes up to three feet at the other end. And uh, those are great for kids. and. Um, uh, it's really important, you wouldn't think of it, but when you live in Arizona and you have children, bottom line, you teach them to swim as soon as you can teach them to swim. Uh, so one of the basic things you gotta be careful of having a pool is safety. Uh, the newer pools usually have a fence around them. And then some people fence off their, I'll turn the house, some people fence off their porches um, just in case they have little ones and they can't get out to the backyard unless there is, there's an adult. Uh, when we bought this house, we were required to be to lock or have a lock available for our gate on the side of the house to keep wandering kids from the neighborhood not to come into your yard and, and drown. <laughs> so now you've got some regulations you need to, to be aware of. Newer houses have usually have uh, protection. Older houses like mine are kind of wide open. They'll protect or lock off the uh, the porch area, um, especially if you have your grandkids over and stuff like that. All my grandkids can swim like a fish, so that's important. So let's talk a little more about owning a pool. So uh, are they expensive? Well, it's important you get a pool that's in good shape. That's one thing. Um, to maintain a pool, um, I know I, I don't think our water bill is real high or anything like that. But if I had to drain this pool and have it cleaned or repaired or something like that and fill it up again, I'd probably have a big water bill. Uh, how does the pool keep its water? Well, I'll show you. So, well, let me go over here real quick. Over on the wall there is a pipe that actually feeds water to my pool and to keep the pool full I'll show you right here is a cap with a float and basically when that float drops it opens up a valve and, and puts more water in the pool so that's how we keep the pool full all the time the other thing uh, is required with pools is a filter and pump system so this is our filter and pump and when I bought the house I actually had it replaced so I have a brand new motor a new pump and a new filter system I put in and uh, so you go Rob do you have to maintain the water and all that kind of stuff and the answer to that is I could but I'm not so most people Unless you're on a budget or something like that. Most people um, hire someone to do that. So it can range from $50 to $120 a month, depending on who you find. Our pool person costs $80 a month. And he comes in every, every Monday, scrapes the pool, uh, checks the balance, adds chemicals as needed. He supplies the, uh, the chemicals and that's how we keep the pool up and uh, 
you know, times of crisis, if money got tight, most likely I'd say, well, maybe I need to learn how to take care of the, take care of the pool. Uh, <laughs> the, the, um, if you have a pet, like Cinder, our dog, she, you see her running around, she swims in the pool a lot. And, you know, it's hot down here, so I'm going to let her. And, oh, by the way, the other thing you always want to have is a long net. Um, on wind storms or mo um, monsoons, we'll get leaves that will come from some of the trees, like up there. And you can see i got a couple of trees over there. and <laughs> moving around a lot. Or leaves that come off the flowers or something will get in the pool. Uh, or you get, uh, as you notice in my yard, I have a lot of rocks. And you want to get the rocks out of the pool. Oh, there's another thing that people ask me about all the time. Is what is that pipe and thing in the water? So down here, that is when every day the pool runs for about eight hours. It cycles the water, cleans the pool at the same time, especially if cinder's in it. Her fur gets in there. Every day it's, it gets filtered out and through that filter I showed you. But also, if you get any dirt and grime in the bottom of the pool, this automatic system down here moves around the pool all by itself and uh, vacuums the bottom of the pool and puts it into the filter system and anything like rocks or dirt or anything like that to get in the pool uh, gets pulled up by the little pool vacuum. So uh, the next thing you want to consider if you're going to have a pool is do you want to heat it? So down here, you know, in Arizona, it can get up to 110 degrees on, in the summer. Usually 90 um, at the beginning, then summer comes and it cools down into the 90s again. The pool right now is at 70 degrees, and that's from natural heat. And right now it's, uh, it's uh, um, March, <laughs> in the March. <laughs> Sorry about that. And probably in about one more month, uh, the pool will go up to 76 to 80 degrees. And uh, that's about the time you can start swimming in it. And that's still a little cool, but once it gets past the 80 degrees, it's pretty easy to go swimming in it. So uh, what some people can get a heating system for the pool. And they'll bring in like a propane tank or maybe natural gas. Uh, electric, I think, is available, but it could be costly. Those three items alone is a big investment uh, the pool, uh, heating system in your pool and will probably tap your utilities a little bit. Uh, there is another system out there where they put uh, up on the roof of your house up here you could put a little it's like a panel system they look like uh, solar panels but they're not they're little pipes and they pump the water from the pool up to the little pipes that are black and they're um, soaking in the heat from the sun and as the water goes through the little little tiny pipes comes down to the end and pumps back out to the pool you can do solar heating uh, a system like that I had an estimation uh, will probably cost about oh five thousand dollars plus or minus and it's important that you have a pool pump that's strong enough to handle not only the job it has to do for cleaning, but could pump the water up to the, the roof and then have it drain back into the pool. So, uh, yeah, so it seems a little odd to have a little plumbing on, the ro on your roof, but hey, if it rains, <laughs> I guess it, you know, if it leaked up there, it wouldn't hurt the roof any. So I hope that's a little bit of an education for pools. Um, no, Arizona people that have pools are not rich. Now, there is a <laughs> extravagant pools out there, there's no doubt. But uh, typically, uh, this is one of the ways that uh, Arizona people keep cool during the summer. And uh, for about three months, it gets really warm here, and, and the pool is the way to go. Now, the other thing is the problem, by the way, I forgot to bring up, is sunshine. Is um, Obviously, I'm very Caucasian. Uh, i got to watch the sunshine and not get sunburned. This year we're doing what's called, I got these at Costco, um, it's something like 7 by 13 um, piece of cloth um, that's designed to make a shade and we're going to string them between the house and the fence and the problem with those is that will create um, shade for us to use the pool in the summer 
the problem is is we have a lot of little um, microbursts or monsoons here and stuff so it's going to be important to set up a system that I can easily pull out clip on and put shade over the pool when we're done I want something very easy to take down and shake off um, and put away because you never know when these little wind storms will show up here and it will just destroy it <laughs> so something to consider so there you go that's uh, that's our pool and uh, uh, we do not have a very expensive house um, and I'd swear you know all the houses that live along here about every other house has a pool and uh, it's a nice option and, and especially parents that have kids uh, it's a good way to keep them active and, and getting exercise away from the video games. A pool is definitely the way to go. And it keeps you cool and um, it's fun to have friends or you can, some people set up uh, big screen TVs in the back of their yards here and watch football games or whatever and have friends over and barbecue like I do, but I don't do the, the football games. So uh, there you go. Arizona living and owning a pool. As I interpret it, uh, there's a lot more facts you probably need to know, but as far as maintaining the pool, I hire someone to do it. So anyway, there you go guys. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.